What is up my trader homies? It's your boy Kevin from Touchdown Trades. You're trading BFF, you're a stock market bestie. I just got back into the Touchdown Trades trading bunker and studio from the beach. I brought back this shirt rocking the beach gear. I'm also rocking the beach tan and I'm ready to get back to work making some A plus content and finding some A plus trades. Had a big green week while at the beach. It feels great to be on vacation and make money while you're on vacation. It also feels good to be back home in the Touchdown Trades trading bunker. Today we're going to be talking about the top five penny stocks that are setting up for swing trades right now. Last week we went over five stocks, five penny stocks that were setting up with A plus setups and we had three awesome winners. Our top winner being in BLNK up over 30% when we took our full profit off. So we had two other winners up over 20% and the two that weren't winners, well they weren't losers either. We took them off break even. We had an absolute bomb week last week and we're going to look to continue the momentum next week. So I've ran the Sunday scan that goes into the market looking for the top five penny stocks to trade right now and I have found once again five A plus setups that are setting up for the upcoming week. So let's jump into the charts and break down the top five penny stocks to trade right now. All right, trader homies, I had to run and change shirts real quick because I was wearing a green shirt and I'm sitting behind this green screen here and I didn't realize that if you wear a green shirt behind a green screen, you get a little bit of nip slip nip slip action. You guys can see my little nips. So I had to run and change a shirt real quick. Sorry about that. But now we're getting into these five swing trades right here with swing trade number one being BOXL box light. And what they do is they manufacture interactive learning devices such as like interactive touch boards, whiteboards for classrooms. And why I think this could be important is a lot of the country, the students aren't going to be going back to their typical schools this coming fall instead they're going to be staying at home and you're going to have a lot of homeschooling going on with moms trying to provide the best education moms or dads not just saying the moms are going to be the only ones doing the teaching so moms or dads trying to give their kids the best education possible and if a company like this BOXL Boxlight could start selling to your average homeschool parent they have a whole new market share that they can target and I'm not sure if they are going to make that change and try to sell to your home school. But there's going to be a lot of more parents trying to buy stuff to teach their kids. And I think this is an intriguing longer term swing trade. So I want to break down the chart here. We can see that we've had a nice run up over the past few months here from the dollar range to the past couple weeks hitting highs of almost $5 a share. So let's jump into a faster time frame and break down this BOXL. Let's look at a 20 day, one hour chart. And the reason why I like this trade is because we have defined risk and you guys know I like to look for that defined risk and we can use this 260 area to risk off of. That was awful. So we have a lot of interaction with this 260 trend line here one time and another time and then we held support in this area and we're coming back consolidating over that area and we'll look for the breakout of that consolidation back towards 360 and four dollars so it's a nice risk to reward trade not huge upside potential I don't think I think I'll try to take my first piece off up towards 340 360 and hold a small portion of the trade towards four dollars so that's going to be trade number one on this boxl let's jump into trade number two here all right guys so trade number two is going to be in this prts us auto parts and the reason why i like this trade is not only that the chart is setting up and we'll talk about the chart in a second but we also have hedge funds coming in and buying this ticker and not only do we have a nice looking chart but we have smart, sharp money coming in and buying the name. So we have two factors working for us. 
So let's jump into the chart and talk about this PRTS. So we have an obvious upward trend going on. The past three months, it's traded from under $2 a share to last week, almost $13 a share. So we're obviously buying this stock while it's high, but we don't have to buy and hold. We have defined risk. So yes, we're buying a stock that is extremely high, right? We're not getting the best deal on this stock, but we're buying it with defined risk. We have this $10 level as our risk where we interacted one time and then on the other side of the trend line, making it a valid trend line. So we have defined risk and we're not buying at the very top either. We are buying on a pullback into our risk level and we're going to accumulate into that level and we're going to look for a break over the highs and this thing could really take off. We could get another day like we did back here where it broke over this this, this uh, bull flag here and it had like a 15% move in the single day. If we break this $13 level, we could get a day that looks like that. So that's trade number two, PRTS, beautiful chart, and we have sharp money, hedge funds coming in and buying the name, making it an A-plus setup. So let's move on from this trade and go to trade number three. All right, trader homies. So this trade number three is going to be on this UMRX, Unum Therapeutics. And what they do is they are a cancer drug company, and they are looking to manufacture drugs that are going to help cancer patients. And I like this a lot. We all know how strong the biotech sector has been. So we have that going in our favor. And we also have a stock that is strong, obviously strong, but is pulling back. And you guys know I don't like to buy strength. I like to buy pullbacks. And what we have here is we have the bull flag being put on, put in on this very strong day where we went from 50 cents all the way up to what highs of about 275. So our risk is going to be the close of this flag pull day. And if the stock is going to maintain the bull flag, it needs to hold that 225 level. And what we're going to look for is to accumulate into the 225 level and look for it to skip back up. And if it holds that level, we could get a week or two of consolidation where it just chops around above 225. But if we finally get that break over the consolidation, it could be off to the races. And I like to buy as the stock's pulling back into the bull flag pull base. And we do have the base coming into play right here at the 225 level. So we have defined risk. We have a stock that is strong but is pulling back. And we have a stock that trades good volume. So we have three factors in our favor and a sector that is strong. So we have all the boxes checked off for a solid swing trade. So let's watch this UMRX going into next week. And let's jump in to the fourth trade. All right, guys. So trade number four is going to be a ticker that we previewed in last week's video that we went over in last week's video, but it never hit our stop loss. And the chart is still setting up really nice. So I'm going to include it in this week's video as well, as I am still long this EKSO. And what they do is they manufacture a suit that for people in labor intensive workforce or have a labor intensive job and the suit prevents injuries. So companies will buy this suit for the workers to prevent injuries to their labor force and prevent workers comp claims. It's a really cool design and I really like the the idea and the chart is really sexy as well. So let's take a look at the chart and we can see that we have a bull flag setting up really nice. Let me hide my face and you can see that we have a bull flag being put in on the daily chart and I mentioned last week that this 675 level was going to be my stop and we haven't triggered that stop. We also haven't broken out. So if you look at like an hourly chart, we can see that we're kind of just holding over that 675 level, kind of just chopping around the past few weeks. My line drawing is not on point today. I'm sorry. But we've been just kind of chopping around into that 675 level 
and we form kind of a descending triangle and I'm looking for us to bounce off the 675 break out of the consolidation and I'm going to start taking profit probably around 825 or 850 and hold some for the break of nine dollars so it's a beautiful chart I like the company I like the idea so that's trade number four EKSO all right trader homie so the fifth and final trade is gonna be on this FLDM Fluidim Corp and what they do is they manufacture biotech testing disease tests right so what's important about that is you guys know the time we're living in and they recently announced that a big bio testing company is utilizing some of their tech to test for this right there and that is huge any PR relating to that in today's day and age results in a huge spike so we know what that keyword means for a penny stock in today's market it means a huge pop and it's kind of went under the radar this FLDM has flown under the radar it hasn't made the huge move in any single day it has uptrended over the last few months from $1.17 all the way to highs of almost $7 but I still like it the chart is setting up nice for a swing trade we have this 530 level to risk off of with a prior pivot and a lot of volume traded in this area it should act as support if the company the stock is still strong so we have 530 to risk off of and if we look at a one hour chart we can see that we're coming into the 200 EMA on the one hour chart we've held it so far and if we do break through it we have kind of a backside to stop us from dropping lower at the um, the uh, 530 level so we all we have the 200 as support and the 530 level as support and I'll be looking for this thing to break back up and take my first take profit about 620 and hold the rest for over seven dollars so the FLDM that's gonna wrap up this video I hope you guys got something from it if you found any value just smash like for me that's all I ask from y'all I appreciate the view if you're not yet a subscriber smash subscribe button as well give it the old touchdown trades judo chop I appreciate the view guys I'll catch y'all in the next video I wish you all a green week let's make some money in the market next week and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.